Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, building a complete ship, start to finish. And last time we put some uh, little uh, missile decoys on our ship, here, uh, here are two of them, the radar and uh, heat decoys just precariously balanced on uh, what started as a fake radar and has turned into a real one, my bad. And we've got our little sonar decoy back there, and I forgot to mention last time that munition warners are needed. Thankfully, we already have munition warners all over the place. And today we're doing lambs. So, lazy... Uh, lazy? Not lazy. They work very hard. Laser anti-munition system. So, lasers are great for blowing things up. So we've got our uh, lovely offensive layers uh, in the front here. And we've got two more secondary lasers just uh, in the sides here. We're going to add even more lasers uh, for the purpose of defense. So, uh, looking at our thing here, uh, we're not going to be super crazy about it. We're just going to stick lamp nodes on the superstructure, like a little bit forward and a little bit backward. We're probably going to have little lambs towers on the back here, uh, because why not? So, firstly, we need to, well, cross our fingers and hope to hell that uh, our, our weird engine... Uh, compartment can handle this. Actually, let's. How much room do we have in here? We have a fair amount of room. So if um, if everything does go to snot, then uh, we can make magic happen. Let's see here. We're over there. So one of the things with lambs actually is that um, it really helps to think ahead of time where your nodes are going to be. So for the purposes of this, we're going to put our nodes here so here we have where is it we need a connector and we have the lambs node so fun fact these used to look like nipples so we called them laser nipples now they look like boobs so we call them laser boobs instead so I'm not gonna bother putting one on the bottom there because well there's no point and that tunnel clock connection because I just remembered we need to do that this and we also need to do that and that and that and that. This is not the best way to do lambs, but you know, I like sticking them out like this. They have a little bit more coverage if you do this, and I never remember if they can fire if you do this, but I guess we'll find out the hard way. They should be nice and clear. So you'll see, not connected to multi-purpose laser because, well, they're not connected to anything yet. This is starting to be one of the most superstructure-y superstructures I've ever made, and I didn't even freaking mean to. Oh uh, well, alright, so we're gonna go in there, and uh, we're going to absolutely ruin our uh, good design here by the looks of it. Let's go here, whoopsie days. We're gonna have to move our stairs, aren't we? Aren't we new? Oh dear. Alright, so let's not do that. Let's do something slightly different. Let's plan ahead of time what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do. You know what we can do? We can have Rambot walk straight through that laser. Okay, so we got a laser connector, and if I do that, and if I do this now, where does that put us? It puts us... Ooh, hold on. Aha! Perfect. Perfect! Okay. So we got this here, we got this here, and... And we got this here. Okay, cool. We have a lambs on one side. Yes, we does. Is this a lambs that is well protected? No, no it is not. It is not well protected at all. We're just going to have to live with that. We're just going to have to live with the consequences of our actions. Shocking, I know. Alright, so this lambs is not going to be uh, winning any prizes whatsoever. This is going to be um, just here because, because, because. And we're going to have a similar kind of configuration to what we've had before. Uh, we're going to have... How should this work? We should do something like this and something like this. I really, really hope that we have enough power for all this. Uh, also, these are two separate LAM systems because uh, if this thing's being shot at from both sides, I do want them to be independent. Like, your mileage may vary. Maybe you want to keep them... Um, 
Actually, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? We could do something like this. Transceiver here, and multi-purpose laser goes right in the middle. And we need to rethink our entire life now. Get rid of you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. Cool. And we can't put that there because then that connects there. So this is going to be a slightly elevated lambs. Oh no. Uh, hello. 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 Hoo -hoo. We just found a way to make this lambs bigger with minimum effort. Okay. So. Let's do this now. This is going to be a nice flat lens now. So I'm using varied laser tetras here. Because laser tetras does vary a little bit. So we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're going to have something like that. And then we can have stuff down the middle because why not? And we're going to have something like one two three so the great thing about these uh, single input cavities is well they're small it's a lot easier to jam lots of laser bits and it's great for making nice flat lasers which is what we like we like that so that goes all the way over there to make friends with uh, that over there do, 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 do. width goes like that and the great thing about lambs by the way is that they can shoot down almost anything. They're the only way to shoot down incoming advanced cannon shells, uh, which means they're actually really useful, uh, just in general. They're one of the best defensive options in the whole game, really, because they're just, you know, they're great bang for their buck. By the way, Q switches, we're not bothering with Q switches for these lambs, because zero Q lambs uh, tend to be the most damage efficient. They don't waste um, damage on stuff. And if you make them big enough, then they're easily strong enough to do all kinds of jobs. Which is mainly shooting down stuff that you want shot down. Ooh, we're going to do that. And we can actually... What's over here? Ooh, I don't actually want to put laser bits directly on heavy armor, because that's an EMP trap. And get rid of you. This lamb is not winning any prizes whatsoever, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. How much damage does this do? Uh, it's reasonable. It's not fantastic. Though, we can do something like this. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And now it's touching heavy armor again. Oh dear. Alright, well, this thing's getting expensive. Alright, so similar pattern as before. Let's just do... Well, down the middle here, you can just use a whole bunch of single input cavities. Not exactly recommended, because the thing will charge really slowly. But also, uh, sometimes you just got to make use uh, with the space you have. You know what's a really good idea, though, is a laser coupler, so it's actually attached. And as for frequency doublers on these things, eh, we can just uh, chuck them on there. The, there's not really much point to having a very high IP lambs, except uh, if you get smoked. So we're going to have smoke on this thing for the purpose of laser defense. And um, we do need to... Pumps can fill cavities in only 7.6 seconds. That is kind of bad. Like... You know, because the pumps uh, stay idle, but also it means that this is kind of impossible to exhaust, really. Um, so yeah, like, you know, it's best not to have your lambs charge too fast, because that means it's wasting resources on excessive pumps. But at the same time, it can work just fine and dandy. Alright, so how I like to set this up, well, if you want a black uh, laser, what you do is, this, is you just set one of these values down to the absolute negative? You can be negative blue? And, um, yeah, so this has a stupid amount of AP for lamb, so we can fire within smoke. Maximum damage to engage. Anything, thank you. Diamond even multiplier. Uh, and actually, I, I didn't... I keep forgetting this is a value, so... Uh, I do want this thing to prioritize small stuff. Um, because we've got other weapons that are taking care of big stuff. And I like to set this to, to about 300 meters. Angle below which. Covered all the vehicle. 
and you can see there the damage uh, at 500 meters is only about 60 percent so I like to set my lambs to about 300 meters uh, because that works well depending on how strong your lambs is and like what you want it to do really you can set it longer or shorter all right so that's all turned off let us save like so and we're gonna see quickly uh, let's see here let's just chuck in what's something that has a lot of land let's chuck in a palisade and just um actually no let's not chuck in a palisade let's chuck something that has a lot of crammage oh let's chuck in the Jormungand why not why not the Jormungand has a lot of stuff Right, so that lambs is not quite strong enough to deal with a volley that big. Hmm. Right, we need more storage. Right, maybe the Jormungand is not the best test subject. Let's go over here. Where are you? Uh, frustration. These things are fun to test lambs against. Because this is going to... Okay, well, I forgot about that. Alright, that's more like it. That's what this lamb's job is. It's just uh, these swarms of little... Little annoying missiles. It can take care of them. Right, so now I'm going to turn God Mode on here. And we're going to see... Alright, looks like we have... Enough engine power. I forgot about the little plasma guns. So yeah, this thing is well protected now. Alright, and turn god mode off, and you can immediately see that the frustration gets absolutely vaporized, so yeah. Jolly, 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 jolly good. And we still have enough engine power to um, run all our systems, so how the hell did the LAM section of this be quicker than the missile decoy section? I am unamused. Alright, so this is not the best lambs in the world, but you get the basic idea. Ideally, you should have way more storage than this and less pumps. Um, but yeah, this this will do for now. We can always... That's the great thing about this game, is that you can always optimize it later. Uh, I have lambs tutorials, by the way. So yeah, there will be links in the description. So let's just save this. And... Man, this like there's a lot of things on here that's not going to win any prizes, but that's okay. We're just we're we're just getting it complete. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon for YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths, building a complete ship, start to finish. Farewell.